Memphis Fire Department is investigating a fire that started at a vacant church on Perkins in East Memphis. We're told it started around 430 yesterday afternoon, but then another blaze popped up again last night. Same place after 1030. So now officials believe it may have been set on purpose. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Stephanie is off tonight. WRG's Ashley Paul joins us now live from the fire station. And Ashley, what else are firefighters saying? Greg, the fire originally started on the first floor in a classroom, but firefighters were able to get that out. It wasn't until a second fire started on the second floor of the building later that officials became suspicious. The old Colonial Cumberland Presbyterian Church is the outside. The inside appears to be completely gutted. I saw the flames coming out the, uh, the windows through the doors. They were trying to get inside to calm the fire down from the inside. Stephen Ramales lives just across the street. He says he got home from school yesterday to find the building engulfed in flames. I was kind of scared because I thought there was somebody, at least somebody some, inside the uh, church. And maybe there was, since fire officials are now investigating this as a case of arson and believe the fire was intentionally set. Ramales says he hasn't seen anyone at the church since it was shut down at the start of the pandemic, but he saw how quickly the flames spread and is reflecting on what might have happened. I could have been in the house without knowing and I could have been in that fire. Thankfully, no one was injured, but the house or the church rather is heavily damaged. As firefighters investigate this fire, they're also looking for the person responsible. Anyone with any information is urged to contact 528 cash for now reporting live downtown. I'm Ashley Paul WREG News Channel 3.